been a busy week in cycling. Here's what happened. The flesh Wallon in Belgium was as captivating as ever thanks to the finishing climb of the Murder Hui. In the women's race, Marianne Voss claimed a fifth win here at the end of a very aggressive ride. In the men's race, an audacious last minute attack from Carlos Betancur of Azure de Zerle Mondial fell just short, with Danny Moreno of Katusha taking the win and Sergio Hanau of Sky Pro Cycling also edging past the flagging Colombian. In Italy, the Giro del Trentino saw the last head-to-head -head of the two big favourites for the Giro d'Italia, Vincenzo Nibali of Astana and Bradley Wiggins of Sky Pro Cycling. The final day showdown petered out in the end with a brilliant show of strength from Nibali, while Wiggins suffered a mechanical problem and a mild tantrum. The Tour of Turkey started on Sunday, with Marcel Kittel of Argos Shimano taking a chaotic sprint win in a stacked field in the opening stage, and then Adis Kropkis of Oroka Green Edge escaped the carnage of the second stage to take the win. And Liege Baston Liege rounded out the classics with a much lauded display of teamwork from Garmin Sharp. Ryder Hestudel attacked in the finale, giving his cool headed teammate Dan Martin an armchair ride. He then saw off an attack by Joaquin Rodriguez of Katusha, dropping him within sight of the line. When we caught up with Dan earlier in the year, he had this to say about his views of the classics. After finishing on the podium or close to or second so many times last year, it would be really good just to, to win a race again. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's the aim for this year, whatever race it might be. We'll assess the winners and losers of the 2013 classic season later in the show. You gave us a lot of predictions as to the winners of Liège, Bastion Liège and Flesh Wallon, but unfortunately, no one got it right. In fact, only Skype Kai got even one right. So, we're pretty generous. Skype Kai, get in touch. We'll sort you out with a GCN t-shirt anyway. The MyoCycle anti-injury app was also in the news this week. A collaboration between Brett Lancaster of Oracle Green Edge and his longtime physio, Cher Hetherington. It's a one-stop self-diagnosis app to help identify probable causes of injury and suggested methods of treatment using myotherapy. This could be a great resource for cyclists as not everyone has access to physios. It's now available on the Apple App Store. Last week we covered the launch of the new SRAM Red hydraulic disc brake. Matthew Motte, the technical coordinator at the UCI, has subsequently reaffirmed the UCI's stance that they're still not eligible for use in pro races. Which leads us to an interesting situation, because soon the pros will be racing on substandard equipment to the rest of us. So what do you think? Are the UCI right, or should they be helping to introduce new technology? Let us know. So as the classic season draws to a close, and the cycling media is full of teams and riders bemoaning a lack of results or performances, we've rounded up the winners and losers of the 2013 classic season. Radio Shack salvaged a poor few months with the help of Fabian Cancellara's incredible performances, and Cannondale got their inaugural season as title sponsors off to a great start with the help of Peter Sagan. In the Ardennes, Roman Kreutzinger finally made good his promise with a fantastic win for Team Saxo Tinkoff. And Garmin, of course, landed their coup de grace in Liège Baston Liège with an inspired performance, particularly from Ryder Hesedale and eventual winner Daniel Martin. The biggest winner, though, was surely Team MTN Quebecer. In their first season at Pro Continental level, they landed Milan San Remo. And the losers? Both the mega budget teams of BMC and Sky Pro Cycling will have some nervous meetings in the weeks to come, as neither team landed a major victory in the 2013 Classics. In fact, between them, they only had two second places and two third places out of 13 races. Perhaps the biggest fail came though, not from Luca Paolini's red leg warmers or Peter Sagan's podium etiquette, but from Belgium. According to Infostrada 2016, this is the first time in 95 years that no Belgian rider wins any of the spring classics, currently one HC or higher. Let us know what you think. What is the biggest classics fail of 2013? So, a busy week in cycling, and here at GCN, we've been following suit. We've been in search of some of the best roads in Europe and some sunshine to film the latest batch of how-tos that you've requested. And as the Giro d'Italia looms, we've got plenty to whet your appetite. See you next week. Then, using the preload tool, unscrew the outer cap. Next, using the small flathead screwdriver, lift the retention pin away from the axle. You should then be able to...